This is Taylor with Gamma Edge. Coming at you with a quick market status for Wednesday, November 9th. Here's our general disclaimer. Give it a read when you're done, so let's move on. Here we have our TQS model. Thing to note is we had further continuation from the move Friday and Monday. Um, saw a bit of consolidation intraday. However, we're still holding that short-term moving average ribbon and interacting with longer-term moving average ribbon. So all in all, still a constructive structure. Here are the take ARCX model. Thing to note is we have our um, third signal trigger today. It's given the take above the longer-term moving average ribbon. Um, really, the thing to note, we just want to see this continue to hold that cyan line. Um, would still be constructive so long as that, that happens. Here we're SPY Gamma Dashboard from this morning. <clears throat> Talked about last night, 380 was lying in the sand. So right, right where we opened up. Um, trade of the day was the move higher, 385. That was plus GAX level. Um, from there we saw a double top, retraced down to 377, again back to 385-ish, settled around 382. Um, so again, re levels really haven't changed going into tomorrow. 380 line in the sand, 385 upside, 370 downside. Here over SPY hourly chart, we have 370, 380, 390 key gamma levels overlaid. You can see we're in the, the upper range of 380 to 390. <clears throat> so long as you hold 380, more biased upwards towards 390, vice versa below 380, more biased towards 370. Here hitting a little bit on the um, intraday price action today. As we talked about, opened up right around 380, nice consolidation, push higher, second consolidation, push higher, continuation up to 385. This offered you multiple opportunities, one being here, this consolidation, second consolidation, third flagging action against one standard deviation band of the VWAP. Um, we are live calling out these trades in the room today. Um, know there are some people that caught them. So uh, well done to y'all. From there, we saw a double top at 385. Um, rapid movement down to 377. No idea what caused that, nor do I necessarily care. Just interested to see how price interacts with the levels uh, we, we laid out in pre-market. Um, we saw a couple of technical levels appear today, that being this around, what, 381? Then again, kind of at 382. Just say they're key because you can see multiple price interactions. So we'll be looking to see how and if price interacts with those tomorrow. So with that, um, I will leave you guys at GameEdge.us where you can find us. Free two-week trial right now. Um, and best of luck tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow night. Bye.